Alright guys, so I wanted to start off uh, the new set of 2K13 uh, PC tutorials um, with just some of the differences between NBA 2K12 and NBA 2K13 on the PC. Um, you know, it's not all differences. Uh, luckily, some files like the courts, the stadiums, the Dornas, the logos, and even some of the score bugs uh, work from 2K12 directly in 2K13. So all you have to do is literally just copy and paste in the if file. And that's all you need to do to get those to work. Uh, for, as for uh, tool compatibility, um, the mod tool from 2K12 works for the most part. Um, there are a couple things that have issues with, like uh, cyber faces and uniforms. So for that, we do need to still use the uh, 3DM mod tool, which I actually screwed up. And um, I'm the one that uploaded it to the NLSC database. And I screwed up. You need to make sure you have version... 0.483 so make sure you go back to the NLC download database or somewhere else and make sure you have the most updated version because there are issues with MIP maps with the old version um, and that's pretty much just the quick stuff um, so I guess I'll go into detail about what's going on um, between 2K12 and 2K13 um, like I said the uh, floor, the F files and the S files, the stadium files um, these both work directly from 2K12 in 2K13. So I could literally go in here, let's say I had a good uh, Celtics court, F005. I could literally just go copy, bring it in here, and paste it in. And this would work. There would be no issues with the floor at all. Um, I could do the same thing with stadiums. So I don't know if you guys noticed that I already released uh, the NBA street mod. That's because my street courts from 2K12 worked in 2K13. Um, People have said that Adorna's work, the uh, advertising that shows up on the bottom part of the court, near the, near the floor of the court, um, I can confirm from the NCAA mod that I was working on that the uh, logo, um, the logos files, not the, I don't know if these ones work, these big ones, but I know for sure that these ones do work from 2K12 and 2K13, so that might help out some of the EuroLeague and other guys so they don't have to export and import 30 different if files. Uh, the score bug, the new score bug if file. This one does work from 2K12 <coughs> in 2K13. There's a little bit of a sample text. I don't know if you noticed in some of my videos when I use the ESPN score bug from 2K12. Um, so it works for the most part, but not 100%. And the other fun issue is that since 2K updated that file um, right here, you can see that they updated it. That means you need to use Keep My Mod to use a custom one, and um, that's a, it's gonna be for another video, not for now. Um, so the tool compatibility, uh, like I touched on, the mod tool was having some issues, and I will just show you real quick what kind of issues it was having. Um, so if you go to Ping, I don't know. Let's go to this guy right here. This is a player cyberface file. Open it up. Yes, we'll decompress it. You still need to decompress stuff. That works fine. So, you know, that this works fine. This does not work fine. The model still works. You can still export and import with the mod tool if you want to. This is where the problem is. You see how that's kind of off-center and to the right? The problem is the, the program thinks it's DXT5, but really it's DXT1. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but um, essentially when you import and export using this tool, it's not going to work um, as it should. Now with the mod tool, or excuse me, not with the mod tool, with the 3DM tool. So what I open up, ping four six. If we open up now, we can see the texture as it's meant to be, and we you know we can tr toggle the transparency to see it exactly how it is. But um, you see how it's centered, and it's working properly. And we can also it does say DXT five. But it doesn't matter because this is still reading it wrong. And if you import and export with this tool, it's going to screw up. So you need to use the 3DM tool. Again, very simple to use. Right click. You're, you're going to have these options. They might be in Chinese. This top one um, saves a DDS file. And this bottom one imports a DDS file. So that makes it um, as easy as it's going to be for that. And down here again is where we have the models for you to import and export in the same way except you right click here. 
Um, now let's talk real quick about uniforms. Uniforms in the mod tool. Again, let's go back to the Celtics. And as you can see, that is not a Celtics uniform. Um, it's completely kind of glitched out. And if you look at the bottom, that says DXT5. I really thought they said DXT1 and they were just screwing up, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's screwed up. It's not going to work. And as it was, the mod tool can never handle um, doing uniform numbers or letters either. But then again, if you open up in the 3DM, or 3DM tool, as you can see, they all work perfectly fine. You can toggle the transparency if you want, but they all work pr fine, and we also have letters and numbers that we can edit, which again, I will cover in a different video. Um, that is pretty much the ins and outs of the different compatibility issues with uh, 2K12 and 2K13. I mean, it should be assumed that the rosters and the save files and everything don't work directly, so don't even bother with that. Um, you know, we might be able to convert stuff easier with the Redditor when that comes out. But for now, that is the basics with the two IF files. We will go over many, many other topics in the coming videos. I hope you enjoyed.